been here before and if you are brand new then thank you so much for joining us we hope that you'd like to stick around join us in all our adventures and hit the little subscribe button it's just down there why not yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so today we're gonna review the california grill yes we are feels like we haven't done one of these in ages it feels like we haven't sat down in films in ages <laughs> but we have no, yeah it's been about a week ago so it's not that long <laughs> yeah so you guys by now all know our categories um if you don't then you'll find figure them out on yes. the way um so should we just we get like going? categories go about categories <laughs> my god uh, yeah <laughs> should we just get going let's do it yeah okay so we're gonna start off with location for california grill okay go for it okay so it is located in the contemporary resort yeah um which is one of the magic kingdom resorts on uh, um on the monorail loop it is on the monorail yep. loop um it's on the california grill on the top floor. I think does the contemporary have three restaurants or two? Uh, two, I think. Mm, but it's yeah. on the top floor, which is the highest location in all of Disney World <laughs> yes, it currently. Is. Yes. There might be more coming, I guess. I guess they really got new stuff coming, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's the fifteenth floor. But you check in on the second floor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so just remember that when you are going to California Girl, you check in and go on the second floor and they take you up to the 15th. Yeah, in a private <laughs> lift. Yeah. Um, if you watched our vlog from this day, if not, I will shamelessly plug. <laughs> but um, we had an adventure on the escalators. We got hopelessly lost. We, um, yeah, we came down <laughs> the lift with a couple and they were like, oh yeah, you just need to go down this escalator. Um, for some reason in Disney, you just trust people. Yeah, this is on the on the way out. Wasn't it? On the way out, yeah. yeah. So we got onto the escalator <laughs> that they told us to get on and ended up, I don't know, in some corridor with rooms. Yeah, we didn't know where we were, so it was up and down. And, 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 yeah. We had an adventure. <laughs> yeah, we did. Um, we did have one niggle with location, and it's not really anything that's going to get sorted. It's never like that California girl can do anything about, so it's really not fair to, to say it in this room, really. But the niggle is, you can't go resort to resort yeah. um, on a transportation. Um, so when you have dinner, um, you can't go from California Guild to say Animal Kingdom. Which is what we wanted to what do. What we wanted to do. So you have to go to, where did we go? Well we went from um, the California Grill to Magic Kingdom, got a bus from Magic Kingdom to Animal Kingdom yeah. Lodge. Um, which is fine because you could either do that or Disney Springs or the transportation centre. Yes. It just means getting home is long. That's our only niggle and that's nothing, nothing to do with California Girl really. Yeah. Just, just, just be aware if you are, because obviously going to California Girl you might want to drink and you don't want to sort of, you want to go to the transportation, you, you have to go sort of around about to get where you wanted to be. Yeah, but, but you um, also could use Lyft, I think Lyft yeah. goes resort to resort um, yeah. and they obviously have the minivans or Uber, yes. so there are ways around it, Absolutely. we just didn't really feel like spending extra money that <laughs> no. day. No, but if, if there's a different way that you guys would do it, then let us know because we might be being stupid here. Yeah, <laughs> so, so um, yeah. I gave it a 4.5, I just I mean, I, it's silly to say it, I just wish it was easier to get home. Yeah, it, it was a long time. It took about an hour to get back to the hotel, so roughly, I think. Um, so yeah, I, I went 4.5. Like you say, it's nothing to do with California Grill it's, as, on itself, because it's just every restaurant the same, every yeah. hotel the same. Okay, so atmosphere. Um, this is one of the fanciest restaurants I've ever eaten in <laughs> in my entire life. I'll second that, yeah. Um, it feels super. I've never been in a private lift before. I don't know if this is something people do regularly. <laughs> they had to get someone that went up for the lift with us, didn't they? There was a, <laughs> yeah, a cast member. I think their only job is to collect people. Yeah. And what? And they were really, really nice, really fancy, really modern. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, re really fine dining type of restaurant, um, clean, clean lines, um, yeah, it isn't really much more you can say about it. We didn't really. find the tables too close together, I know that's Not something we've been mentioning, because yeah. I think when you're a couple on your own, sometimes when, I mean, and when you're in a group, I don't think it bothers me so much, but just being a two, yeah. it sometimes can be really awkward <laughs> if you're right next it's to... It's on the laps, yeah, I completely agree, yeah. but no, this one wasn't like it at all. It was, I mean, there was people sat either side of us and it wasn't close at all, no. you know. So, but that's what's fine down, I suppose. You, you, you have room to spread it out rather than get everyone in. Yeah. So. And um, also, we just did note that even though it was super fancy, because it was <laughs> super fancy, yes, it, it was... didn't feel stuffy or stuffy. No, it still had, it still had that, that Disney sort of vibe to it where 
you know, people going on for holiday and they know that and they make you feel easy rather than, you know, certain posh restaurants. Yeah, it's not that sort of really friendly. Being a yeah. VP suit or something, you know. So, it's not it's like Victoria and Albert's <laughs> over. <laughs> um, yeah, so we gave, or I gave Atmosphere a five. I also gave it a five. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we agreed on a lot of these. <laughs> this one we did, yeah. Okay, so okay. food quality. Um, I just wanted to run you through what we had really quickly and the prices. Um, do not have a heart attack. Yeah. Um, so we both had the 21 day dry aged prime Kansas City strip steak. Well done because I would remember that. <laughs> yeah. And that was $75 a piece. Um, we did have a starter. For our entire trip, this is the one place John wanted to have try the sushi. Yeah, I, I must have watched a YouTube review or someone else done and it, it was something that for a long time on what I try, like you say, and, and it didn't disappoint at all. No, so we had this, the tuna three way. We did, yeah. We shared it. Um, <laughs> star, yeah. And that would have been $29. Right, you can't. <laughs> yeah, but then we shared it, not too bad, but it's 15 each, I suppose. You put it like that. So. Yeah, and um, <laughs> I talked about churros in one of my last reviews. Yeah. Um, this was one of my favourite desserts. It was not churros, it was donuts, and they had like um, an ice cream and like a cinnamony kind of sugary yeah. coating. Yeah. They were delicious. <laughs> I mean, I said before that I don't really do desserts. Desserts not my normal favourite. However, yes, dessert was probably the, one of the best desserts that I had once on on holiday it, on, on in Disney. Um, I think I had a chocolate cake, like a chocolate cake kind um, of thing. Yeah. yeah, and like I said, I don't. I'm not really big on desserts, but this one just didn't disappoint at all. Yeah. So I had a cocktail, and John had the Napa Smith Hoppergadden. I feel like that's what it's called. Yep. Um, so they were both really nice. They had some really, really nice cocktails on the list. I think that's, it's always really nice when you go in and you're not sure what to pick because there's too many options. Absolutely. And that's yeah. what I was at. Um, yeah, yeah, everything was just... Delicious. You can't, you can't, you couldn't fault at all. It was cooked to perfection. Like I said, we had the steak and I always had mine medium rare and that was cooked spot on. The menu does change seasonally. Yeah, which is nice. So we just went back to have a look um, at the menu choices. Yeah. So the dessert that I had was obviously cinnamony and it was Christmassy. Yeah. Um, whereas now they're still doing the donuts, but they're lavender, yeah. which sounds delicious. <laughs> but um, it's nice that every time you go, it will be different. And also it's fresh and locally sourced, which it always makes everything taste so much uh, better. Yeah, I mean, it, it gives the chefs and that freedom to do what they want to do rather than be restricted on the menu type, what they don't want to cook. It's it's what they want to cook and what they want to make, what, what, what you can taste the difference when they know what they love, what they do, you know. It's, yeah, uh, and yeah. normally we would ask for recommendations. <laughs> um, this place we didn't, and I just want to tell you quickly why. So we were sat next to a couple, and they were a little bit further ahead in their meal than we were. They were, yeah. They got their mains, and the, the gentleman had a beef wellington kind of deal, yep. and the lady had the steak with um, <laughs> the macaroni cheese, yeah. and we were both, I think we just did the <laughs> yeah. thing, and we had food envy, so I'm just like, we had major that? food <laughs> envy, um, yeah. but both of those meals looked delicious, beef wellington is something I really enjoy, but it didn't have macaroni cheese, so I went with the steak and it was yeah, god. Yeah, we very rarely had the same meal, very rare, um, but I don't know why we picked today, I think we were the same I wanted the macaroni we cheese, want, I wanted the steak, so yeah. <laughs> I was happy. <laughs> yeah, it was delicious, so I gave it a five. Yeah, you can't fall at five. Mm -hmm. it isn't, you get a theme here. <laughs> yeah. So customer service is our next point. Um, so you go to, or uh, we went to California Grill, um, for the fireworks. Um, it's signature dining. You know the food's going to be good, but the the reason that we went was for the novelty of seeing the fireworks from. A distance and from up high. Yeah, I think the reason why we put, picked this initially, because I think this is your pick, wasn't it? This was my pick. Um, but I mean, so you've seen other videos that I pick one, you pick one, I pick one, you, you pick one, and I picked DK Air. What's we done a video on? It's amazing. But you picked this one, and this, this, this is probably our our new favourite joint with DK Air. But. Um, I think we seen. I think you must have seen the video or seen Shushi or something. That, but that's why we picked it initially. But then obviously we realised we, we we picked a time around the firework time, 
um, to, to be able to go out and, and see a fireworks from the castle. Yeah, so when you get there, the, um, oh, I don't know if this is every waiter that does it, but our waiter said, oh, are you here for the fireworks? And we obviously said, <laughs> yes. Um, and he said, okay, cool, well, we'll cook your food. He didn't say okay, <laughs> but what's to that effect? Yeah. Um, okay, cool, we'll cook your food kind of around it. Yeah. Um, I, we wanted to make this point because we sat there wondering where our food was for a little while because we had our starter and yeah. then obviously they didn't think we'd have enough time yeah. to cook and eat our main before the fireworks and they were right we definitely wouldn't have done yeah um so our main didn't come and we were like have we been forgotten <laughs> what is happening then he, the waiter came over and he said um the fireworks are about to start do you want to go outside yeah so we did and then when we got back they, our food was immediately there. Absolutely, I don't, I don't know, we just had this conversation with Emma a minute ago, when we just, before we started filming. I don't know if that's harder for a restaurant to do or easier to do, to come out at certain times, but it's something that they, they manage really, really well. Yeah. Um, and they, we thought we missed the fireworks initially because when we were sat, we could see um, Studios um, Christmas Jingle I think Bam. it was Jingle Bell, Jingle Bam. Yeah, at the time, obviously, that, that show was on. Um, and we thought, that, oh, that's the fireworks. Um, but obviously, we're completely wrong, completely in a different direction. <laughs> um, so, yeah, they know what they're doing. And he, he said, we won't let you miss, miss, miss them. And, you know, you'd be fine. And we certainly were. And we, there was nothing we could, you know, complain against at all. Yeah, it was brilliant. <laughs> um, so, also, so if you don't want to see them, I imagine that's fine also. Yeah. Um, we obviously wanted to see them. So our waiter was super, super nice. <laughs> yeah, he was. Uh, probably one of the nicest waiters we had for our entire trip this year. Yeah, I mean, he certainly took a time to have a chat, get to know us. Um, he didn't, it wasn't rushed off his feet. He probably was really busy, but he didn't see... Well, it was more the end of the night we were there as well, wasn't it? Yeah, but so it felt like he had time to sort of... After we had our meal, he took, took, took a time to have a chat to us and obviously we paid the bill and, and he, he, we talked to asked where we were staying and obviously we were staying at Animal Kingdom. He mentioned that he used to work at Animal Kingdom. Yeah. This. So we had a really ni ni nice chat and it, it just feels a bit more... More intimate, uh, yeah. more personalised. Yeah, what's, what's really nice, you, you do remember them, them moments. I think. Yeah, so as we were leaving, I think we'd even said goodbye. I definitely had <laughs> yeah. my backpack on. Um, he said, hey, do you want some pictures outside with Magic Kingdom <laughs> yeah. in the background? So we were like, okay, yeah, cool. Because um, we'd taken some selfies, but... Did, of course. <laughs> I, I don't know, he felt like we should because he'd asked. I yeah. don't think we would have been bothered either way. I think we had enough photos what we took ourselves. Um, but yes, yeah, so we yeah. were like, yeah. <laughs> We had a mini photo shoot out there. I am not lying. <laughs> we were out there for, oh, it must have been 15 minutes. Yeah. Easy. Absolutely. He was telling us all about how <laughs> his daughter, who is old, um, he told us she yeah. was old, had shown. Yeah, 21. <laughs> 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 um, had shown him all about the different photo things you can do on yeah. an iPhone, oh, and he did mode. he did all of them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. But it was really nice. He took your time, and we got to, the, some of the photos he took was yeah, oh, they're oh, lovely pictures. In a lot of them, we're kind of giggling because we'd been there yeah. for so long having <laughs> yeah. the pictures taken. It was, but he was having a great time. And we were going, enjoying it. We got the cast on the background. It is so 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 nice. Um, yeah, you really can't fault the customer service. What we had. And so it, it was amazing. It really... So what did you give it? It's obvious, it's a five. A five for me. <laughs> okay, so theming. Um, we mentioned this in the Morimoto Asia review, which I will leave linked there. Yeah. Check it out. But um, it's not massively themed. Like, it's not... I don't know, you're not in a jungle or you're not, I don't no. know, under the it, sea. It, it's, it's not themed like something like Rainforest Cafe. Yeah. Or, or I don't know, or... Uh, Planet Hollywood. Even like the Rose and Crown. Yeah. It's not themed. I wouldn't say it was themed. No. However, that doesn't matter um, because, like we said in the more Motor Asia, it's more. It feels more at market. It feels more, more modern, more fancy, more mm -hmm. at market. Um, what's amazing. What's really, really nice. Um, the the main thing you're drawn to as soon as you walk in the restaurant is. The, the, the windows from floor to ceiling and, and what's framing the castle nicely and you're instantly drawn to your castle. So they're from like 
all of the restaurant basically is yeah. a window um, and you can see uh, it's nice we had a window view so it was really nice yeah. but regardless to that you still have a nice view absolutely even if you couldn't see it from where you sat on, 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 on your table you just have to walk up and, and walk a couple of paces and you will see it. So even if you can't see it from the table, you go for a drink before or after your meal or whatever and you certainly would have an, a, a decent view wherever you are. Yeah. So. Um, so there's a walkway that you head out on to see the fireworks. Yes. Um, I don't know if this counts as theming, but I didn't know where <laughs> else to throw it. So um, the view of the, so you obviously you can see all of the fireworks, which is definitely a different feeling to seeing the castle in yeah. front of you. Yeah, no, you walk out quite quite a long way away. It's quite a long walkway. So you're not next to your building, so you've got like a 360 view of it basically, quite and, and high up obviously. Um, so There's yeah. There's no one pushing to be in front of you. No. You, you've got loads of room to hang out and take pictures yeah. and watch the show and, and all of that. So <clears throat> They also obviously pump the music for your speaker, the speakers on, on the walkway and obviously your music what, what getting on the castle what you can hear, you can also hear there so you, you're not missing anything at all. No, um, the only really, thing you really don't nice. get is the projections obviously, um, but out of all of the views that we had, so we did the dessert party as well, yeah. um, I think I preferred the view from the California Grill to the dessert party view because you can see everything all at once. Um, yeah, I mean that's it's just different. It's it's, it's different. I, I can't say I prefer one or the other because it's good to see them both for different aspects of uh, of them both because it's good to see the uh, projections and also good to see just the fireworks and the castle from further away. So yeah, I mean. It's hard to say which one you prefer, but they're certainly worth doing. Yeah, so for theming, I gave it a five. <laughs> I also gave it a five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, value for money. Um, this is a hard one. Well, yeah. So it it's two table service credits on the dining plan. Yeah. Um, so obviously that's a lot of dining service credits. We like to do one each week yeah. and then use either cash or we just have quick service that day yeah you know well, well, sometimes we're not in the park so sometimes we're out anyway so so sometimes we save it a, a, a table service for that for example we're to nasa and we obviously that day we or if you're shopping and yeah. you're not there then we would save a quick service and have a quick service in the evening and um, so that's how we work our quick services uh, yeah. our table plans so we have at least two table service one per week that's how what we'll be like yeah um, we really really milked our dining plan for this <laughs> restaurant. We don't always, and it wasn't intentional, um, but we, we surely would, took advantage of it. Yeah, yeah a seventy-five dollar <clears throat> steak is not something I would ever <laughs> order normally. Not, not, not new. It, not, not you. I mean, normally I would probably. John eats steak a lot more yeah. than I do. Yeah, but I would normally have like, I don't know, if I hadn't have seen that lady's steak, <laughs> I probably wouldn't have ordered steak. No. Um, having, you know, yes, it's seventy-five dollars a steak. It, it is dear. <laughs> There's no two ways. It's a dear restaurant. However, but it's not all that expensive. They do pizzas that are twenty-one dollars, and you'd still get the view, yes. um, and it's still the beautiful atmosphere. And I imagine those pizzas are amazing. Absolutely, that's what I was going to say. That, that it, it's value for money if you you don't have to go for the top black like we did. You don't have to go with the seventy five pound steak. You could go for the like you said the pizza or twenty. And they're regular, or yeah. Their regular entrees are around forty something dollars. Yeah. So that's fair for us, uh, you know. A, a Absolutely, and, and for a for a fine dan fine dining restaurant like this one is, I think you can have it expensive or as cheap as you want, depending on your taste and yeah. um, whatever. Else. So yeah, I think the restaurant. It could be for you for many. It was just this time we, we had we took advantage of our, 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 um, our diamond plan. Yeah, so we would pay out of pocket. I know that we've been saying this in our reviews, yeah. whether we would or we wouldn't. I would pay out of pocket, I, but I wouldn't have the steak um, because I wouldn't pay $75 for any food, really. I don't no, think. I think I agree. I would pay out of pocket. However, I can't see a, a time that I would go to Disney without a diamond plan. So. It's hard for me to answer, so I, I because if I was going back, I would really want that steak again because it's delicious. Mm. So if I forget the dining plan, we haven't had it, I would be happy with a pizza or a burger or whatever, I a sushi or whatever, a cheaper item than the seventy-five dollar. However, 
more likely that I would have a dining plan anyway. Mm -hmm. So. So I give it a 4.5. I think $75 <laughs> is a lot of money, but I do also think that they had a lot of other options and it was worth it. So. I think it's amazing. Um, yeah, I can't fault it. So five has to be a five. <laughs> okay. So would we return? I think that's obvious, so yes, within a heartbeat I would return. <laughs> yes, we would. Yeah. Um, so our overall scores are so close to each other's scores. Yes, go on then. So mine is a 4.8. Okay, mine's a 4.9. <laughs> that's nearly full marks. <laughs> I mean, that is the highest score we ever, ever gave a, res a restaurant in Disney, I think. It's currently our favourite, so. Yeah, it's certainly the best restaurant I've ever been to, I think, with hands down. It was the nicest, nicest place I've ever been to. The food and the restaurant, um, we really would recommend it to anyone who's watching this haven't been. What are you doing? Go and go. They also <laughs> do brunch. You want to get to see the fireworks, but yeah. it, you'd still get to experience the restaurant. Just a point that we have, have forgot to mention. If you had the meal slightly earlier in the, in, in, in the day, so say five o'clock or six o'clock, you can return to watch the fireworks. Um, so you don't have to just watch the fireworks eating your meal work like we did. Um, so you can get there early and have dinner, have a few drinks, and then go and watch them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it has to be dinner, yeah. but that's still a nice option. Yeah, so um, just, just a heads up, you, you don't have to sort of do what people have done. You, know, there is, you can go early and, and still see the fireworks. Yeah. What's really nice. Well, thank <laughs> you so much for watching. Let us know if you've been to the California Grill and if you like it or not. Absolutely, yeah. We would love to know. And we'll see you guys next time. Absolutely. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.